I tried making chicken burrito and I would like to share my experience with you. Burritos are Mexican and Tex-Mex food and here we have a wheat flour tortilla. Inside we put some filling and then wrap it up into a close ended cylinder. Burritos are really filling and nutritious because it has a mix of carbohydrates, proteins, vegetables. So I'm going to show you what fillings I have used. You can use any protein of your choice. So starting from top left and going clockwise, I have client coriander rice, guacamole, salsa, sour cream, wheat flour tortilla, some fried chicken, beans, some fried onions, chopped lettuce and in the center we have some grated cheese. So let's get started. I've prepared the rice like it's usually done only that I have added bay leaves while the rice was boiling. Once the rice is done and the water is strained, I've added juice of half a lemon, some finely chopped coriander, a hint of salt and pepper. And yes, my lime coriander rice is done. Next up is guacamole and this is all the ingredients we need for that. First we are going to scoop out the pulp of avocados from its peel and this is how it's done. Once the pulp is out of the peel, we are going to smash it and form a soft paste. This is how it looks and now we are going to add the chopped onions to this. After this, we are going to add the chopped tomatoes along with the chopped chilies and coriander and then we are going to squeeze a lemon and after that we are going to add some salt and pepper for taste. This is how the final mixture looks like and now we are going to keep it aside and prepare the other items. Our next filling is salsa. So this is all the items needed for preparing salsa. Let's start by adding the tomatoes. To this we are adding onions and mixing for a while. Then we add chilies, some coriander and I'm going to squeeze some lemon. After this I'll add some salt and pepper and mix the whole of it well and then cover it and let it sit for a while. Salsa is ready. I soaked the kidney beans for about 6 to 7 hours and then I boiled them for about half an hour so that they were soft and nice. To a pan, I added some oil, heated it and then I added some garlic paste. After that, I added some red chilli powder and some salt and added the kidney beans to this. I got some boneless chicken and marinated with some lime juice, salt, pepper, red chilli powder and some cumin powder and let it rest for about half an hour. I made some cuts on the chicken with a knife and then let it fry on medium flame until the chicken was no longer pink and the outer side was fried and crispy. I also fried some long slices of onion until they were soft and chopped some lettuce, grated some cheese and whipped some sour cream. I got the tortillas from the supermarket. You can also make them at home. So before using them, I folded them like this as shown over here and covered it with the wet tissue paper and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. The tortillas are out of the microwave and I have got all my fillings ready. Now we are going to fill up the tortillas. Make sure you fill only the center of the tortillas because we have to roll it up to make a close ended cylinder. That's all the ingredients ready to go into the burrito and make a yummy chicken burrito. Let's start filling. First, I'm going to add some chicken. 
uh, some more chicken. Some more chicken. <laughs> because no chicken is more chicken. Then we are going to add rice, the cilantro and lime rice. I'm trying to keep everything as close as possible because I want to keep space for rolling up the burrito. Then I'm going to add the fried kidney beans. Some more of them. After this, I'm going to add some caramelized onions. Then comes the salsa. This looks delicious. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, let's add some guacamole. Yes, there goes the guacamole. After this, I'm going to add a dab of sour cream. Yes, this is going to make it nice and creamy. Some lettuce and some cheese, and some more cheese. Yes, we are there, and now comes the trick. I am going to roll the first ever tortilla in my life. Yes, good going. Awesome. It was a bit tricky at first, but then once I started rolling, it was awesome. And whoopee! My chicken burrito is ready. And I tasted it and it was really yummy.